Today we will talk about loops in Kotlin. Kotlin mainly uses for and while loop for iteration. In the last video, we have already learned how we can loop through ranges using the for loop. So in today's video, we will loop over list. Over here, I have taken a simple example where I am taking a list of carrot, cheese and chocolate cakes. Okay. So simply when I am using the for loop to loop through this list, I'm using a cake variable that will loop over the variable that is cakes and it will simply print by fetching one by one values that are present inside the list and then giving the output. You can see the output. Yummy, it's a carrot cake, it's a cheesecake and it's a chocolate cake. Let's talk about the while loop now. It runs as long as the condition is true. So over here I have taken an example where cake eaten is equal to zero and the condition that i'm checking is cake eaten should be less than three okay so until and unless the value of cake eaten is not equal to or greater than three it keeps on iterating inside the while loop okay as soon as the value of cake eaten becomes three it exits the while loop okay and when it is executing it keeps on printing eat a cake eat a cake eat a cake and all okay next there is another loop that is the do while loop it executes at least once before checking the condition. So here is an example where I'm asking it to print bake a cake and then cake baked plus plus. So it is incrementing the value of cake baked while it is printing the bake a cake once at least before checking the condition that is cake baked should be less than cake eaten. Okay. So if this condition is true or false is a secondary thing, but first it will print bake a cake because it is a do while loop and do at least does its execution once in the entire iteration of the do while loop okay hope this is clear and i'll be pinning up a few questions for you to practice and if you like the video don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel thank you for watching